Well, what's up, y'all? Dusty. This fuck saw it once You know, you guys know that uh, for the most part, I really don't involve myself. At least I try not to involve myself in politics. As far as I'm concerned, um, our country is going, for lack of better words, to hell in a handbag. But, uh, There's things that occur in our lives that uh, sometimes we just, we can't sit back and keep our mouth shut. We have to stand up for what we believe in. Now, what I'm talking about specifically is uh, this trans movement, the whole gay, trans, LGBTQ, the alphabet community. Sorry put it lightly. Um, you know, as far as that's concerned, as far as that whole community is concerned, I, I have to say, up until a certain point, I really didn't care. I mean, do your thing. Who am I to say what your happiness is? Now, do I approve? Well, um, I have to think about the motives and I have to think about the identification of the group in mention. Um, for the most part, and I, before I say this, I don't believe that this applies to each and every one of those individuals because everybody is an individual in their own right. The problem that I have is the group representing the individual. Now, when you base your entire existence on who you have sex with or who you lay next to and you expect me to accept that or to validate you in some reason no that's not how that's going to work and i can speak for a lot of individuals out there now again i didn't really have an issue uh, until it was thrown in our faces and it's been a lot lately. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's political motivation. That is, um, you have a lot of political leaders, especially this current administration, that are pandering to certain groups. Um, they are doing whatever they can do to gain voters. And that's a sad thing. A really, really sad thing, to say the least. Now, I'm changing my light bulb, by the way. My brake light right now. I have to say, um, let me go something into, into something personal. Now, about a week and a half, about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, my youngest son, um, nine years old, rides the bus, third grade. Um, him and his next brother, who's also a 10-year-old, um, were confronted on their bus, their school bus. Now, on their school bus, they have a bunch of seats. Now, when we were kids, or anybody that uh, can relate, there was no assigned seating. Now there's assigned seating, and I can see, you know, I can, I can understand the purpose of it. Uh, it's to keep the kids somewhat organized so they're not running around all crazy, acting a fool. Well. Um, my youngest and uh, my other son were sitting in their assigned seat, which is towards the back of the bus, and they were approached by, now granted, my son is third grade and fourth grade. They were approached by a fifth grader and some other person I don't really know in a bit any more about that child. They were approached, my kids were approached by them, and they were asked the question, um, and I don't know if it was a trick question or not, they asked if they supported the LGBT community. Now, my kids have their own opinions. Now, granted, I do not push my opinions on my kids. 
Now, I will tell them the truth of the situation. It's up to them to make their own decisions on it and how they feel about that. So take that in consideration. Their response was, no, they do not support that. And they chose not to go any farther into that. Well, they, com they completely received flack upon flack. Now, they were called from these fifth and, you know, whatever graders, they were called F and Bs. Now, I'm not going to cuss on YouTube because I also understand that this is a family channel. Um, amongst many other things. Now, bigot is one of them. Um, fascist. I mean, the, the standard, you know, liberal attack whenever you don't believe what they believe or you don't agree with whatever they are pushing. Um, racist and bigot and homophobe and transphobe and all this stuff. Now, granted, again, I have to constantly reference back to the fact that this is, these are fifth graders. These are elementary kids, elementary school kids that are pushing this ideology. Elementary kids. Now, let's just take that subject and we'll put it off to the side. Before I do that, there was a phone call from the school uh, about our kids and they didn't, evidently, they didn't cuss because there are cameras and there is video recording and uh, voice recording on, uh, on the bus. It was good to hear that my kids did not swear even though they were being verbally attacked and cussed at. Um, they did make mention they, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing at that or giggling, but uh, the, the worst thing that they did is they, they said, you guys are retarded. My kids said that to them. Now, I don't necessarily approve of that either, but I, I got to say, I'll take that over something worse. And they did have, they did get a talking to about that. So now fast forward until uh, uh, Thursday of this last week. Now, my youngest son gets on the bus. You guys know him as the Homestead Kid. Just the loving, the most loving, kind, pure-hearted individual ever the kid all he wants to do is help and love people he is the nicest kindest and i know there's a lot of people a lot of parents out there that say a lot about that about their own children but i can honestly say he's just a pure soul now he got on the bus was sitting in his assigned seat and that same fifth grader came up to him leaned down and whispered in his ear you get out of this seat or i'm gonna hurt you Kaden said this is his assigned seat, what have you, and the kid, he again continued to say whatever he could, the voice or the voice recording or the video could only pick up certain parts of it, but what it did pick up is that after Caden got up from his seat, now there were other things said, after Caden got up from his seat, what's the most alarming is that this fifth grader told him, if you ever come back here, I will kill you. That's a quote. Those are the exact words. That's... That's alarming to me. Amazingly alarming to me. Not only that a fifth grader would say that, but this is also... This also carries over from that first conversation about how my sons do not support the alphabet community. Now, granted, this kid is a fifth grader and he is pushing this agenda. Unfortunately, my kids have told me that there are a lot of kids in elementary school that are identifying as trans. That's disgusting. These kids don't even barely know math. And yet they're deciding their sexuality. They're deciding their gender. Now this is disgusting. This is this is something that is being pushed very, very hard by the liberal media, by our current administration, by the teachers, by parents. And now this liberal ideology, this child has somehow learned that if he pushes this and the person doesn't agree, he has every right, supposedly he has every right to threaten the life of another child to the trans community out there take responsibility 
for your crap. Now, I, I'm not going to take responsibility for any assault, for any murder, for any anything on your society or your group. You know why? Because I've never done that. And the people that do that are horrendous and should be buried under the prison. But under no circumstances do you guys or your cohorts get to push this agenda. And at no time do you ever demand that people comply. You know what that is? You know what you guys always call us? The gay and Antifa and the transgenders. You know what you always call us? Fascists. You know what fascists do? They forcefully impose their ideologies on people by any means necessary, including violence. That's what a fascist is. And you guys are doing that. So I find it ironic that this is the case. Now granted, I'm going to calm down a little bit because this just gets me really worked up for obvious reasons. I made it a point. When Caden came and told me that, he was in almost tears. He was almost in tears. Now, I made it a mission to go find out where this kid lives. I wanted to find out where this kid lives. Now, granted, this road is, you know, three miles long. It's a dead end. And there are a crazy amount of houses down there. But believe me, there's only so many that you can knock on before you find who you're looking for. And I did. Now, I didn't confront the child. That would be highly inappropriate. Not my deal. That's his parents' deal. But I did talk to the father. This is very alarming. Because the father had no idea that the first incident had occurred which me, tells me that the school did not go through appropriate steps to punish that child for cussing and screaming and name calling and, you know, God forbid what that, that child was actually saying on the bus. No sort of reprimand. There's no sort of anything. So it never got back to the father. I haven't talked to the mother. But I told the father what it was that his son confronted my son about and he was completely, at least this is what he tells me, but judging on the individual's character and his, you know, um, where he lives and the kind of work he uh, pursues, a pretty good character judgment would say that he's, you know, he doesn't lean to the left that like that. He had no idea, no idea whatsoever that his child was pushing trans whatever no clue I did talk to his father quite a bit and you know we have a lot of similar things similar uh, uh, experiences in life and I found him to be a good person so I have to wonder I really have to wonder where is this child learning this the only thing I can think of is in school that's what our kids are learning in school now, this kid's mother is a bus driver. I don't, I don't know. I really, I gotta tell you, I'm still, I'm blown away. I'm completely blown away. Now, I was gonna make a video because I got a bunch of stuff that I need to prepare for. Um, I have a solar light, or not a solar light, but a you know motion detector light that I need to replace that we actually got from a company. Um, I need to make a video for, but the reality of it is, is that uh, I mean I couldn't, I couldn't make a video like that and uh, talk about all this at the same time. Now, before I lock that, I need to make sure it works. Um, I don't know. I'm going to stop my rant for now. All I can tell you is that... Uh, all I can tell you is that... Under no circumstances will I tolerate my kids being threatened. Period. I don't care if it's from a fifth grader. I don't care if it's from an adult. You don't talk that way to my kids and you don't make threats. 
our country is going through some crazy stuff. There's all kinds of school shooters. There's all kinds of mentally ill individuals that they'd like to blame on gun control or the lack of gun control, which is, it's amazing to me that people think that way. Let's take away all the guns because it's a gun issue. Now I could go off on that forever, but I'm not gonna. But I tell you what, a lot of parents out there, and I'm speaking to you right now, that, that love their kids, and if you love your kids, recognize and know everything that's going on in your school, in your kid's school, and your kid's social network. Because the media and teachers and unknown individuals, God forbid, are influencing our children. It's, and it's because, and it's what it's gonna come down to is the weak-minded children that are gonna be influenced the most. And now when I say weak-minded, I don't necessarily mean that they are weak individuals, but maybe they don't or haven't been taught a moral compass or aren't currently being taught a moral compass. Maybe they don't have family values or they're taught family values. Maybe their parents are a little dingy and they concentrate a little too much on their own personal rather than taking care of their kids and making sure that their kids are good. I'll go to the ends of the earth to protect my kids. I will. I promise you that. I'm going to try <laughs> I'm going to try and end up on a positive or end this on a positive. I do. I have nothing but love. Nothing but love and blessings for each listen to this. Each and every person out there. Even the people that have a different opinion than I do. Even the people that disagree with me, even the people that I disagree with, I still got love for you. I do. Just recognize, I know where my spot is. You better check yourself on your spot. Because eventually, Mama and Papa Bear are going to get real upset. And the patriots of this country will get very upset. And we're only going to stay quiet for so long. Now... That doesn't mean any kind of threat or anything like that. Absolutely zero threat whatsoever. All it's saying is that you don't get a mess with the kids. You don't. And you need to check yourself and recognize what your priorities are. I'll leave it at that. Again, I've got nothing but love and blessings for each and every one of you out there. I really do. I'm glad I got it. Get rid of that. It's time to move forward. Let's love each and every one of us. Let's all reach out to someone, even if we don't agree. Say, you know what? I think you're a good person. And let's have a conversation. Because I believe, honestly, I believe that that's what we're all lacking, is an open dialogue as to what's going on and how people are feeling, really. Right now, I only see one. I only see one side, and they are whining all the while, pushing and pushing and pushing. And when you close yourself off to others, other opinions and other avenues, you'll end up blind in this world. You don't want to see the result of that. None of us do. So, again, I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. And until next time... You all stay blessed.